good morning guys and welcome back to my youtube channel um this is okay here's the light and today is the six seventh of december 2023 um i'm attending my stuff year, year end and yeah today so anyway um let me take you guys through this day i don't know when this vlog will end but thank you for coming if you're a returning subscriber thank you very much if you're new here don't forget to like comment and subscribe and hit the notification bell guys please watch the video till the end because that's how youtube re recommends them to other people danko is thank you Okay, so this is my outfit of the day. Um, I got this jersey from Mr. Price. Got this shirt from Woolies. Got these pleather pants from Mr. Price. Got these shoesies from Mr. Price. Yep, this is how the whole outfit looks like. Yep, the outfit of the day. Anyway, let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. <laughs> yes, son. Let me zoom in so you can see my favorite part. Dun, 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 dun. There we go. <laughs> By Cork and Co. Say hi, Peppa. <laughs> Let's go get some vinos, Peppa and I. Some vinos. You see this pele pele that's everywhere? That's where you can get it. And you can get some gin here. And here's the special place. Cork and Co, everybody. Good morning, guys. Um, welcome back to my YouTube channel. And today is... Saturday the 9th and it's Java weekend so I'm headed out to Nelspreet with um, a friend of mine colleague um, colleague turned friend Zama um, to Mbombela for the show but firstly I'm going to go try on my pinafore that I'm getting done here um, because my Koti season is being upon us so i'm making one of those maybe two i'm gonna go have a fitting and then drive off to pick up zama and Bavan, and then we off to the show it's gonna be a good saturday it's gonna be a good saturday this is our room it's quite small now zama okay we'll be pushing romance over there uh, little kitchen at Tinyana. Oh, shame. At least the bathroom is good. We can give them that. That means that's where all the space went to. The bathroom. Spinning <sighs> once again. Reporting live from Nelspreet and Bumalanga. Okay, guys. Yay. I went to fit that pinafore thing, right? Hey. Loma. I don't know what. I don't know what. But it's not what I wanted. So I'll try again next time. Okay, then another thing. Let's go. I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going We are busy waiting for a cab. I'm going to say, 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 I'm going to 
na mamba lo lo reliable we've been here anyway we're still going to java having a good time that's lambe neg lamba imagine anyway see you on the flip side no. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Tineida Nyoni Molantwa. And yes, I think this is the wrap up of that vlog. Thank you guys for coming back. Thank you guys for liking, subscribing. Shim first video really had a big audience. Thank you so much, guys. I truly appreciate it. So, yeah, um, I took you guys to the Christmas party. It is okay. Christmas lunch, it is okay um yeah ended a bit early we had to drive back it was on a thursday after all anyway and then i went to the strava show in bumalanga and it was so nice strava put his heart and soul in his performance literally heart and soul he went out like you could get goosebumps when he would sing songs yo I think I've included some clips in this video. The rain didn't stop us. If anything, <laughs> it amped us up because we had to keep and moving around you know so we don't get cold but it was really really nice the only shortcoming was that the drink setup wasn't really thought through thoroughly because people were pushing each other to get drinks um the drinks ran out to the point like oh it's just like no man like let's just enjoy the show and forget about you know having drinks and whatnot so yeah that was that and then previously i said um the ubers that were not ubers whatever whatever but then i realized that maybe the the drivers didn't want to be connected onto uber that day because the money was less than the meter taxi rate because the meter taxis charge a night rate and a day rate so i think that's where most of the cars went because the meter taxis were a lot outside the venue so it was easy to get like a meter taxi back to our um guest house we stayed at zabrina zabrina in west acres it was okay it was good um it was very clean it, it like it can show like it shows that it's well kept like it's a well kept kept place and they communicate with me they were sending me whatsapps and all of that even though we booked on booking.com they could have sent me a message there but then they sent me whatsapps just to check if we're coming what time we're coming and it was good man it was it was really good they were they were very thoughtful they gave us shaded parking because it seemed like there was a storm brewing and i didn't want anything to happen to dununu dununu is my car i didn't want anything to happen to dununu so 
we got like shaded parking which wasn't at our designated parking so they just gave us another place to park which i truly appreciated because you know after ngulwini saga hey i didn't want that to happen to do no and then um i really 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 think going to nail was worth it it was really worth it i hadn't done something like that in a while so it was really worth it it was just like drawing myself like the getting these groove back and all of that so um yeah it was really good shim it was really fun and yeah what else did i enjoy about that trip yeah, man, the show and the company. Yes, yes. Zama was great company. It was so nice. We had a good time outside of work because we worked together outside of work. And then anyway, I got back home and I am continuing with my series, Bay Beyond Borders, and I'm watching it on Showmax. So I've got these notes here, right? Anyway, this is exciting. That's why I thought I should share it here. So the girls now, you know the girls had to choose um, their guys. The South African girls went to Lagos to choose a group of eight guys, right? Init yeah, eight guys initially. So now they have to choose their four girls. They have to choose who they're taking back to South Africa, basically to Cape Town. So now, go there, drama. But anyway, I'm seeing Ghani. Anyway, so Malibongwe, this one girl, She's confused between two guys. All along, she was vibing with amazing, this, uh, the one guy. Then she, she went on this date with Lucia and the other guy. So then there was a plot twist in that date. And then she ended up choosing Luciano. Hey. And that time, but and Luciano, don't, they don't really gel. But again, hey, I don't know, whatever reason that she had. And then Vuvu chose Chirubem. Okay, that is a good pick. I think they really, really look good together. ZZ to chose PJ and Nandi chose Daniel. Those are my faves. Oh, their style. They get each other. There's a lot of chemistry going on. But Daniel is like, you know, he's a, you know, like a feeler. And then what's this? Nandi down to earth, you know, humble, but with a bit of sass. So they compliment each other and their style tip top tip top so there too i like her because she's plus size you know has a great fashion sense you're born and she's flaunting you know she's giving us the you can do it plus size girl yeah born. anyway they go to cape town with their with their people when they get to cape town really it's nice everyone is getting along really they go to the house sorry i'm having some moscato they go to the house, they play this game, game whoever gets the biggest room. So okay, both Z2 and PJ win it. Okay, sharp. Then they go. That's where it started being for Malibong and Lucian. Because they got they didn't really do well in that. So Malibong is now like, hmm, did I really make the right choice? Anyway, fast forward to another episode. They go to a, 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 a vineyard for wine tasting. It's just like, she feels like she made the wrong choice. She should have chosen amazing. Okay, calling amazing. Amazing, my dear. Shem, I made a wrong choice. Please pull over and come through for me in Cape Town. How daughter? What about Istima send daughter, girl? Anyway. She goes back to the group. Okay, she calls Luciano aside, goes back to the group and drops the, the bombshell onto the group. And you know what? What's this guy Chirubai says? Chirubai is just like, hmm. sorry. It. I did sorry. It. I saw the son, like, they didn't really gel Fele. And he was like, Fele, he feels like maybe sisters chose this one because the bag was more secure the side anyway she didn't deny it she did say really stability was a thing for her but you know, the chemistry isn't here na na luciano so she's really 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 after her amazing anyway fast forward to a few uh, like episode episodes again Vele, she's so bored. She's alone, calling amazing. Amazing is not answering her his phone. But the whole time, I kept on thinking, Vele Musi, he's on his way because he is 
always liked Mali. He has always liked Mali. And they had an amazing spark. So I thought Kutsevele is on a flight. Only to find that he is on a flight. Vele. So he gets there. When he gets there, Vele Mali loses her marbles. Vele rolling around. And the guys are also happy to see him. But you know, I also think the guys are two-faced because firstly, yeah, they first said what Mali did was wrong. What, what, what. Gepa Mali was choosing us up. Now this guy's coming down. They're embracing him. Hey! Mm -mm. Anyway, so okay, everyone is now excited. They leave them to talk. So Mali drops this bombshell. You will see, actually, she has a daughter. Tells amazing this. I mean, I found it weird for somebody that they were tied with from the beginning. Kani, I'm Jalaguti and Auna daughter. Can she be in Chanile Pondiabo from the get go? I really found it like, can she change? say you guys were tied from the beginning. Anyway. To each their own. So the guys Genyalo meet up in whatever room and they like Bona they wouldn't go shop and Daniel Gusi Bona they uh, uh, they wouldn't really um come back because of their ego. Yeah, they don't want to be second choice. But then honestly the heart wants what it wants, hey. Maybe the amazing came back because he really, really thought Gusi this is this is the lady for him and he doesn't want to lose that. Hi again. So, um, Nyalo, they've shown us um, the highlights for the next episode. Guys, doesn't Luciano come back? And Luciano calls Mali names. Yo, I can't wait. Oh, I can't wait, Shem. I can't wait to see what's going to happen there. D for disaster. Anyway, PJ Vele has always had a temper thing. They show PJ throwing a glass at Luciano because apparently Luciano says PJ told him that Miley was a stripper. Yo, guys, guni, guni, guni. Anyway, guys, watch the show. It's on Showmax and it is very entertaining. I'm not one for TV. So the fact that I watch this means that it's really good. It's really, really good. It's very nice. Anyway, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for tuning in. Even my flu is better. I'm no more sniffing. Thank you for bearing with me. Um, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe again. And hit the notification bell. And come back again, guys. Re recommend me to your friends. Please send them the link. And don't forget to f watch the, the video till the end. Because this is how YouTube then recommend the video like it keeps on popping up so that other people can see it thank you so much for your support i truly appreciate it see you on the flip side bye